I'm taking a 20% pay cut and I'm asking you to do the same. He is now selling the beer. This is the name of the business. 25% of your earnings and we'll take care of you and we'll stop. Just stopping by on my way next door. Don't want to be late on my first day of work, right? I have COVID. Let me open up the store. Valeria, can I help you? Let's go with money. Do you mind if we run a tap? No, no. I'm talking to your son, okay? Why don't you buy your own business? Turn off your music! What's your problem? Don't turn off the music, I'll turn it off for you. Just take it out of my store! I'm telling you, don't make my sense! Hey, 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 stop it! Anything can be salvaged. I'm honestly just so done, you know. Like, what's the point of being a hawker? You tell me. First the rent increase, and then now this. <sighs> so poor thing. Looks like she'll have to close the stall now. You think it was loan sharks? Why not? We've already had gambling operations and gang fights here. Whoever it is, I hope they don't come back for more. I hope it doesn't make the news. Otherwise, we might lose more customers. Even if it doesn't, we already lost customers. What happened? You! You don't want to do this, right? Hey, don't anyhow accuse people, okay? Hey. You don't want to complain about my speaker, what? No complain man! Complain with me, I did it! Then who? Who else? Hey. You don't want to tell hey, me! Hey, hey, hey. Everybody don't want to tell me! Guys! Crazy hey. woman! Hey. Ah. Make sure you go into prison and stay there! What? Do you guys know about this? He's an ex-convict. How come no one told us? Alicia, I already called the police. They are on the way. So it was already like this when you came in the morning? Yeah. Were any valuables taken? No, not that I know. Hey, hello. That's all you're gonna do? You're not gonna like dust or fingerprints or whatever? Ma'am, hundreds of people pass through here every day. All of whom could have touched your stall but didn't have anything to do with the vandalism. You're not looking at hundreds of people. You're looking at one. You mean this Vincent you mentioned earlier? Yes, he tried to force entry into my store yesterday and we ended up fighting, so I'm pretty certain he did this out of revenge. Alicia, you shouldn't anyhow accuse another 128 Circle Hawker. 128 Circle Hawker? Vincent is some ex-con that showed up out of nowhere recently. Ex-con? So Vincent has a criminal record. And you fought him? Bravely, to protect my store and myself. I'll speak to this Vincent along with everyone necessary for the investigation. Speak? You should be arresting him right now! Please let us do our jobs, please. My security already got last night's CCTV footage. I'm gonna get it for the police. I'm coming with you. What? I have the right to know. Your store is on Rule 6. What's going on? What's wrong with the file? I think the CCTV is spoiled. You think? I'm pretty certain Vincent did something so that his vandalism act won't get caught on camera. Why don't you let the police Don't you think this? it's a bit convenient how the one time my store gets trashed to oblivion is also the one time the camera stops working? This CCTV already gave us problems before. Security already reported twice. So you're telling me the management has known about this this whole time and you all have done nothing about it? I need to submit three code and need to wait for finance to approve the cost. <sighs> Stunning. Stunning performance by 128 Circle. 
Okay, so must I also submit three quotes to management for you to pay for the repairs? Management pay for what? Okay, help me make this make sense. This is your hawker centre and you're the management, so shouldn't you be responsible? Alicia, your contract for one, two, eight circles say we are not responsible for any damage by external parties. My machines are damaged, all my ingredients are destroyed. I'm losing 750 a day for every day I'm not operational. How am I supposed to get up and running again when I have no money coming in? If y'all don't compensate me, I will literally die. I'm sorry, Alicia. Early morning already, so much drama. Mm. How are things? What? How are things at the store? Oh, um, good. Good. How's business? Good. Very good. Try some Mirabos? Well, one of the oldest stalls here. Open for 20 years already. Hi, uh, here's our menu. Sorry, Kat. So, did you see or observe anything unusual at 128 Circle on the day of the incident? No, never see. According to some of the people here, there was a fight between two storeholders. Do you know about that? I have a fight, only a very small argument. How did you know it was a small argument if you didn't see or observe anything unusual? When I hear there's a noise, I come out from my shop and then everything over already. So that's why I tell you no fight, only argument. Mr. Lowe, we just want your call. Alicia played her music very loud. Vincent was not happy. So Vincent told Alicia to turn off her music, but she didn't want. So, fight la. How bad was the fight? Did anyone get hurt? Pushing here, pushing there. Then some other people went in to stop them. That's all. Any exchange of words, threats? Hello, hello. Our shop uh, is very far away from there, you know. So, we cannot hear clearly. Everybody are shouting. So, cannot hear. But, Vincent was very angry. Looks like we should speak to Vincent next. Thank you. We'll speak again if we need more information. Mm.喂,哥,跟警察說那麼多 你这样做是不对的，不对，对一个外人，Vincent不是外人，他现在在我们One 总之我觉得云生是不一样的
Mr. Vincent Wong would like to talk. I already expected you to come earlier. Really? I'm an ex-convict. Confirmed Alicia told you that she and I had a fight last night. So of course you want to talk to me. We're talking to everyone, sir. Yeah, right. You okay? You seem nervous. I'm not. What do you want? Where were you last night? At home, alone. Anyone who can confirm that? Yeah. The ghost in my house. Sir, let's be honest. You're not helping yourself here. We just want to ask you a few questions. If you don't want to answer them here, then we can always continue down the station, right? So you're going to arrest me? Only if you give us calls. You're going to bring me down the station? Please calm down. Please come back later, okay? I don't want to talk now. We would like to talk to you now. Just a few more questions. Anyway, I don't want to talk to you now. Please come back later. You should come prepared with answers, right? Please come back later. I don't want to talk to you now. Later! Let me go! I didn't do anything! Let me go! Ah! Sir, please, let him go. Mr. Wong, your brother was being aggressive. We are concerned for the safety of... Look, his... he's just scared. He probably thought you guys judged him already. That's why his temper took over. Please, sir. Thank you. Make sure you and your brother are both available for further questioning if necessary. Yes, thank you. Thank you, sir. You're lucky your brother spoke up for you. I go on MC for just a couple of days and you go crazy. You can't even be left alone. Lucky thing for you, my ART tested negative. Who told you? Alicia messaged me. I knew it. She won't be happy and they'll go back to prison. So you didn't fight with her? I did, but it's not like that. Then what? You went to her store, right? Tried to break her speakers, right? Because she refused to turn off the music. It doesn't give you the right to try and hammer her. I did that and I... Forget it. Just get out of here and let things cool down for a little bit. Go! Take a walk. Later. Yeah, we'll see. I'll take your cup of tea. Hey, I don't need to pay for it. I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it. I don't know when he's going to come back. Don't go. Hey, wait a minute. You go. I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it. 我去吃午餐了，你们两个慢慢你们狗逼谈你们在监狱里的光荣史了。以后每天都这个样子吗？大大小小的事都被人家怀疑，是这样的。我跟你以前也是一样，啊，我也住过大屋，我也去过正义那边出来的，出来的时候。我现在卖咖啡，很多人都看不起我，那又怎么样？我跟你讲一件事情，什么人看不起我们不重要，最重要的是我们自己不能看不起我们自己Do you need any help? I don't even know how I'm going to afford paying for these damages. I'm going to lose at least a day of business. You know what? Probably more. Your brother said he didn't do it. You believe him? I don't know what to think. Okay, I mean, I'm the one that suggested you gave him a chance. But wow. If it's really him, I shot myself in the foot. Um, I don't have much, but I can chip in. I don't need your help, Ethan. 
I will never depend on anyone. I don't intend to start now. And if I were you, I'll focus on business recovery for yourself first. Well, what business recovery? I'm not the only one in one two circle your brother pissed off. No. Why is the idiot still cooking when he's got no customers? Maybe trying some new recipe? You mean he's trying to steal another hawker's dish? Pa. Who knows? Next week he'll be selling mirubus since the girl from Aisha's store has joined him. Pa. Even though everyone around here hates him, maybe we can learn something from him. Kandipa. எப்படி கரண்டை வீணாக்குறது எப்படி மலையை ஜாமான வீணாக்குறது அவன்கிட்ட கண்டிப்பாக நம்ம கற்றுக்கணும் நீ தானே கடைக்கு முதலாளி ஓ ஸ்டில் நாட் தேர் இட் த சாஸ் நீட்ஸ் சம்திங் மோர் ஷுர் கோ ஃபார் இட் Honey? Yes? Honey? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, did you Wait, think you... that I called what you? What are you trying to say? If we add honey to the sauce, it will counteract the acidity without... Without altering the flavor profile too much. That honey, right? Yeah, yeah of course. Mm. Mm. I am so sorry. It's fine. But we are all out of honey, so I'm going to get some, okay? Sure. What would I do without you? Go to the supermarket by yourself. Bye. Honey. Honey. Did you forget something? Why do you still feel that for me? Hold on, guy. I did not still feel that. She quit. I needed an assistant. You could have hired anyone else. Yeah, but why would I? She's available. She has a good attitude, and I don't have to teach her everything from scratch. Yes, because I already taught her. Well, she would still be working for you if you didn't chase her away. We just had a disagreement. We couldn't have worked things out until you came in, almost as if it was planned. Hey, Ka, I'm a chef. I'm not some evil mastermind. You're always talking to her, brainwashing mind. her. I don't know uh, why you're talking to her like brain. Enough. Yes, maybe I did take advantage of the situation. But that's not wrong. She would have left anyway, the way you were working her, 14 hours a day, morning to night. I've been working 14 hours a day, morning to night, for the last 20 years. Anyway, it doesn't matter now. Things are just the way they are. Maybe you need to learn to accept that. And maybe... need to learn that actions have consequences Sorry, the outfit I chose last night is still too formal. Is this still too much? <sighs> Should I bring my food hygiene set? For what? I don't know. What if someone wants to check? Like the health inspector, Mr. Ao Yang, or another hawker? They already emailed you your set, right? Yeah. <sighs> Download to your phone. Oh. 
But anyway, who there to bully me? My husband is the management. If they bully you, you tell me. Okay, boss. What about this? Uncle Larry won't care what you're wearing. I know, but I just want to blend in. No need to think so much. It's just a hawker centre. Some people even dress in pajamas. pajamas. I'm sorry, I'll be done soon. Then you can go back to sleep. Too late. I'm wide awake. I'm going to do some work. Shit! Shit! What? What's wrong? Oh no. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Audrey oh, you know reporting for duty as your copy kia. <sighs> Go lai ba. Are you always writing the book? Huh? I'm writing down everything that you told me. It helps me to remember. Oh, that's good. Okay, you go back, you study hard. Huh? Next week, I will test you. Why wait? Uncle Larry, you can test me now. Oh, you? <sighs> okay. What is kopi or siu thai? Kopi, no milk, less sugar. Then, what is Kopio Kosong Telo? Extra thick black coffee. Don't even add water. The strongest coffee. Uncle Larry, this one is too easy. Good, huh? <laughs> what is called Tat Kiu? Tat Kiu. I give up. <laughs> this is called Tat Kyu. Someone kicking the ball. Tat Kyu is Milo? Yes. Oh. You know how many calls I've been getting? Sorry, Mr. Ayong. And this Vincent, how did he get clearance to work here? An ex convict. Mr. Ayong. We also didn't say ex convict cannot work here. Look at Uncle Larry. Larry gave us problems too. I remember I had to ask him to leave once. Ikai, I know you care about the hawkers, but you are the operation manager. And you know our situation? Not very good now. Times are different now. Bad publicity means bad business. I know, Mr. Ayo. I will take care of it, promise. It's not enough to take care of it. You must make sure it doesn't happen again. And to do that, you have to decide. Are you going to be the manager or are you going to be the friend? Sometimes, you cannot be both. Thank you. Come again. Thank you. How? Can... Hey, if you don't say okay, you won't go back to sleep. You won't go back to sleep now. Yeah, don't worry, Uncle Larry. I got this. You got what? I mean, I can handle. Go home and rest. Hello. 
Are you taking my order today? Sorry, sorry. What can I get you? One kopi, no milk. Take away. You want kopi o? No. Kopi o is kopi o. I said one kopi, no milk. Kopi no milk is kopi o. Miss, are you making fun of me? I said I want one kopi, no milk. Why is it so hard to understand? It's a simple order. No, I'm just trying to clarify what you want at the risk of giving you the wrong order. One kopi, no milk, take away. Thank you. Simple, right? You are still young. You need to study hard. Then you don't have to be a kopi cat all your life. You can do something better. I like become a lawyer? Of course. You okay? <laughs> I was just thinking, when I first met Ikai and I asked for ice kacang, no kacang, was I that bad? <laughs> Would you like ice? You heard what Appa said, right? You're the boss now. So go and talk to him. Hear about my brother, right? Yeah. I'm sorry, but we all heard that he's an ex-convict. I know we have had a lot of drama here in Wantoid Circle. Uncle Larry's gambling operation, the fighting and all. Bro, but... just get to the point, Ken. Okay? Your brother needs to leave. So now you're the one deciding who has the right to work here and who doesn't. Come on, man. You didn't even want him to be at your store in the first place. Maybe I didn't. But that doesn't give you the authority to tell me what to do with my store or how to run my life. Fine. How about this? Everyone here in 128 Circle is nervous about Vincent. He's a loose cannon, bro. And he's been trying to hit some of us up for money. What? He tried to start a tab in my store. I said no. I heard that Uncle Larry allowed him. <sighs> and the thefts. They all started on. when Vincent came minute, looking Arun. for you. I don't believe this. I think that's the problem here, bro. You don't believe it. And that's why you don't see what's happening here. If he wasn't your brother, if he was just some other person working here in your store, you would have fired him already, right? Secret to Uncle Larry's kopi. You must know. You serve kopi when Uncle Larry's not around. When I was young, my mother told me, if you are angry when you chop chili, the chili will end up being spicier. So, if you want your kopi to taste sweet and nice, then you must be happy when you make the kopi. That's the secret. Wow. Thanks, Auntie Carol. <laughs> Oi, Long Chiu! Not again. Hey, Hey, Carol. Introduce Lei. Huh? Don't pay attention to him. <sighs> Why so fierce? We're just here for the kopi. Huh? No more kopi already. No more kopi? Hey, no more kopi. Carol, 
be so tough, okay? I don't like tough women! Auntie Carol, it's okay. Let's just give them their copy. You see? That's the way to do business. Huh? Xiao you. Three copy, okay? <laughs> hey. Hungry, Lee. Huh? Go and get some prata. And make sure extra curry. Okay? Go. That's my kuah. Huh? What? That's my satay mirabo sauce. Ka, apa ni? We've been selling me rafik. Since... Apa mirabo rafik? Mirabo cakap mirabo lah. Kau ingat hidung aku ni tak kenal leh? Kuah aku sendiri. Ka, I've been selling this dish since I started my store here at 1-2-8 Circle. Okay, all I did was to tweak the recipe based on customers' feedback. Stop. Eh, Ka! This tastes exactly like my kuah. That's why you hired her then? To steal my recipe? Chandra was right. Huh? You're just a copycat who steals other people's business. Not to mention other people's people. God, watch your words, Ekai. And you, this is your way of revenge, is it? Huh? By giving him my recipe. God, are you seriously accusing me of being a thief again? How am I supposed to tell him your recipe when you didn't even tell me? You're a food science student, what? You use your computer or something to analyse my Stop it, lah, Kak. That doesn't even make sense. Eh, Korean, what's wrong? Why can't you all just show some respect? I'm just trying to earn a living. And that's hard enough as it is now. You all have no idea what I had to go through for this stall. I just want to get in there. Dah lah tak guna lah cakap dengan korang. Korang nak belajar kan? Okey. Aku ajar. Remember eh? Actions have consequences. Okay, ni ni. Okay, ni ni. Eh, Miss, so pretty, so sexy, serve kopi, wasted. <laughs> eh, Miss, smile a bit lah. Maybe if you smile, I might give you a tip. Oi! Don't be like that. Girls like you play hard to get. I like. Even more worth it when I finally get you in my bed. What you've just said and done constitutes sexual harassment. What sexual harassment? I never do anything. Section 3 of the Protection from Harassment Act. Harassment can be through threatening, abusive or insulting language. I have plenty of witnesses who can testify to what you said. Like me. He's just joking. Your friend was joking when he grabbed my hand? That's our age of modesty. You think I'm scared? You better be scared. She's a lawyer. Which means I can sue you in civil court and represent myself. But you? will have to get a lawyer. I'll drag out the case and rack up lawyer fees. By the end, win or lose, you'll be broke. But if you apologize, sincerely, I'll forget any of this ever happened. How? Huh? Okay. Sorry. Very sorry. You apologize to my wife right now. Say sorry now. Chandra, please. Say it. What's happening? What's going on? He asked for extra curry and I gave him the extra curry and I charged for it. He's so happy. 
When others don't charge for extra rice and extra noodles, why can't we also? Anyways, you don't have to throw my food on the floor and threaten my wife. Sorry, Anka. Let's forget about it, okay? Hey, Mulamandi, who is going to pay for the food? You're lucky I already called off my man. Huh? Oh, really? Really? Now you want to cause more trouble? Uh, gentlemen. Uncle Chandra, better to let this one go, okay? How? Luckily, you're here today. Oh. But tomorrow, watch out! Thank you, Audrey. I didn't do anything, Auntie Rani. Besides, I'm worried myself. If we haven't seen the last of him, one to eight circle is in a lot of trouble. Sorry, guys. We're close. Spring cleaning. Honestly, it's spring, summer, autumn, winter cleaning. Okay, never mind. Um, come back tomorrow. Alicia, I got good news. You found the asshole that did this to my store? You're gonna cancel the rent increase. You bought 40 on my behalf and I won. What's this? My marketing department did this. They will release it tomorrow and will give out some discount voucher or so. It will help with your store opening. That's it. Sorry lah, I cannot do more. My boss is already not happy about it. I mean, that's better than nothing. I'm on your side, you know. I know. And I feel kind of bad because you didn't have a lot on your plate and... I feel like I added more to it. What do you mean? Um, okay, funny story. Confession. I kind of went to the press and told them about the vandalism. Why did you do that? I'm sorry. You know how much trouble you got me into because of that? You know what? I take it back. I'm not sorry. If I don't stand up for myself, no one would. If I didn't do that, right, Ikai? Would we be here with the promotion, with the vouchers all? Yes! Hi. Rafik stole my Mirabo sauce. Sorry, Kak. Can we talk about it tomorrow? Rafik stole my satay Mirabo sauce. Filza gave him my recipe and now they're selling it right next door to me. Kak, you wait. have to do something, you know. You have to stop them. Kak, he didn't break the law. He didn't fail his hygiene safety test. I cannot control his business like that. But he's selling the same dish using the same sauce which my stall is supposed to be famous for. Kak. Singapore got at least 15 different stores selling katong laksa. I don't care about katong laksa. I care about one to eight mee rebos. Ikai, are you going to do something or not? I thought you were my friend. Sorry, Kak. stand the whole day and not feel... Not easy, right, being a hawker? Well, aside from my tired feet, I must say I had a pretty good first day. Learned a lot, had some difficult customers, but nothing worse than the corporate clients I had to deal with. How was your day? I spoke to the online news site. They agreed to remove the article. And I spoke to Alicia about it. So, another boring day at work. <laughs> you like working at Uncle Larry's store? Do you like your job? 
Of course. Me too. Then everything's okay. Okay. I have to wake up at 4 a.m. Winter nights are creeping in and rages with the sun. Shundi. Stalling over everything as the heartache's just begun. A thousand thoughts are pushing through, but it's you who takes control. The parts of us that made it shine as hardened with the cold. You're late. It's only two minutes. Two minutes is still late. You ask me back to work or to score me? Where's my apron? Unless you call me back to sack me. I have no choice. You don't believe me. Why can't you be on my side for once? I think it's best if you just take your stuff and we go our separate ways from now on. Go to hell. Mr. Vincent Wong, we are hereby placing you under arrest under suspicion of the destruction of public and private property. Please come with us.